Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Myra. I make weekly videos for every Thursday, 7 p.m. Eastern time. I also not long ago made a video about these leggings that I found at Winners at a very, very affordable price. And I was recently at a home sense because I'm trying to decorate my place finally after two years. And in the bedroom section, I found out that they carry a great amount of skincare and I went crazy. I bought a bunch of stuff that I wanted to share with you guys today. So in here, I have a bunch of my little goodies, a couple I've already started using, but just because I couldn't help myself, I couldn't wait. I had all this stuff in this basket and I was just dying to make this video so that I could start using a lot of this stuff and some days I was just like nah I gotta get into it anyways the first ones I'm gonna be showing you are these wipes from Pacifica I try not to buy many wipes because it's just a lot of waste however these come in really handy when I'm at the trailer so I bought two of them these were $4.99 which is the C water makeup remover it has sea algae, coconut, and banana. I haven't used this one yet, but I love that it's a cruelty-free vegan company. And then the next one that I got was $4.99 from Pacifica, and they're the Super Detox Deep Purification Wipes. It says that they're very gentle, and although I don't wear a lot of makeup or any makeup usually when I go camping, we might be filming or we might be taking some photos, so I thought that I would pack these at the trailer. So yeah, I'm really excited to use these. I haven't tried many skincare products from Pacifica. I've tried out the mascara, which was really good, and maybe a little perfume roller that I had, but I think that might be it for Pacifica. Oh no, I did have a face wash that was really, really good. I got this exfoliator from Acure. It is a brightening facial scrub made with sea kelp and French green clay, which is good for all skin types. Sea kelp super nutrients soften and detoxify the skin, while the lemon peel and French green clay cleanse without stripping away any natural moisture. Madonna Lily brings a brightness to round out this refreshing facial scrub. When I apply this to my skin, I go in very heavy, spread it all around my face, let it sit there for a little bit, maybe five to 10 minutes. And then once it's gotten a little bit drier, I go wash it off. I kind of go in circular motions very gently so that you don't cause any micro cuts and exfoliate the skin. I love the way my skin looks after using that. The brightness you see immediately and it leaves my skin so smooth. Now for a brightening lotion. I've actually been using this one previously and I really liked it to the point where I had to just get more. This is from the company Andalou Naturals. It's all, again, vegan, cruelty-free, and again, helps out with brightening your skin. I still have a little bit more left in my washroom, but I just had to pick up another one. First of all, the smell of this is so amazing. It almost has a little bit of a citrusy scent, which I really like, perfect for the morning. It comes in a 1.7 ounce container. I use this all over my face, all the way down to my neck, and it says this is a probiotic with vitamin C, which is great for brightening your skin. If you guys don't know, and if you're new here, I suffer from a very bad dairy and egg allergy and anytime I have something that has cross-contamination when my skin flares up, although it doesn't happen so much anymore, but when my skin does flare up, I get a rash everywhere and I have quite a few marks from just from scarring, I guess. My skin is weird. It's definitely combination, but sometimes when it wants to be sensitive, it could be the biggest sensitive ever. I definitely find that vitamin C has helped out so much. It's something that I'm going to continue using. I've noticed a big change on my skin using this, so that's why I had to just pick up another one. I think most places where you could find this, the original price for it is about $26 to $28, and I found this for $16.99, so it was definitely a steal, and I absolutely love it. How many times did I say that? Have I mentioned it enough? I love it. I love that lotion. And because it's so good, I ended up finding another one that's for nighttime, so I just had to go get it. This is the recovery cream, and it's recommended to use at night. I have tried this maybe three, four times already, because I just, I, I had to. I love the first one that I showed you guys so much, the daytime one, that I thought this was going to be like, you know. But I haven't really noticed a difference with this. I know I've only used it about three, four times. It does smell amazing again, except this one is more like a creamy... Skittle. You know when you're eating Skittles and you get to the middle chewy part? It smells like that part. But yeah, I'm excited to really use this on the regular and to see if it does anything for my skin. So I'm excited to try that. Another lotion that I picked up 
is from this brand, Sukin. I love this brand. It's a rose hip hydrating day cream. This is probably one of the first brands that I started trying out once I transitioned my skincare to vegan and cruelty free. And I was obsessed. I have been trying many other products in between. And although it's been a while, I had to pick one up and see how this works for me. I used to use their cleansers and face masks a lot, especially the detoxifying charcoal mask. That was bomb. And boy, did it take out the junk from your skin. But I'm excited to give this lotion a try. This is 120 milliliters in here. It says that the original price for it goes for $18 and I found this for $12.99. It's a little bit of a steal, but still a good one. I like that this is a very natural and clean company. It comes from Australia and I'm so happy to be going back to this again. I'm just gonna put some on my skin because I want to test it out. It feels nice, a little thick, almost has like a little sticky feel to it. I'm not sure how well this is gonna work for me. My skin is very combination. It could be a little bit dry and then super oily in other spots and it can be super frustrating. I don't know how I'm gonna like that on my face because it does feel a little bit sticky. It looks super moisturizing. I'm sorry for my veins. Wow, that is a veiny hand. Um, and then it looks like the last one I have is from the brand Acure that I've been using a lot of lately. Exfoliator, cleanser, lotion, this serum, and an eye cream. Wow, I've really gone into town with the Acure company. <laughs> but I like it because it's very natural very minimal ingredients and I like that especially when it comes to my face so I just had to pick this one up this is the seriously soothing blue tansy night oil I've used a blue tansy almost like a jelly mask type from herbivore and that was absolutely amazing so when I saw this I just had to pick it up I've been using it for about a week now I put it on my face before I go to sleep and then play around with my gua sha all over my face because I keep it by my nightstand and although it's not how the herbivore mask was on my face this is still really good I love this oil when I wake up my skin looks super bright it's very lightweight I don't wake up really greasy it kind of just sinks right into my skin but you can still see the glow and like the work that it's done and I also love the fact that it's glass I love anything that comes in glass. There's just so many products that I love to try out and when I keep seeing more and more plastic that I'm consuming, it just kind of makes me crazy. So when I see something that I really want to try out and it comes in glass, it's like sold. But yeah, that's it for the products, even though it was quite a bit. I really wanted to show you though, because a lot of people think that good skincare needs to be super expensive and that is not the case at all. There's a lot of higher end companies that sell really great stuff that are expensive, but there are great companies like the ones that I showed you that sell just as great of products for a much lower price. And although some of these could be, you know, still somewhat pricey at like $20, $30, there's still places that you could find them at an affordable price like HomeSense. I mean, I do spoil myself every now and then to something really crazy expensive, but most of the stuff I use, like I said, on my skin, it needs to be really clean, of course cruelty free, products that actually work and that are at a great price. So yeah, for me, this was worth the share, especially when I get a lot of questions about my skin. Believe me, my skin is not perfect. I have a light right here that kind of disguises everything, but if I got up real close, you guys would see. I'm kind of going through some stuff right now. We're getting close to that time of the month. So since I share everything else with you guys, I figured why not show you some great skincare that I have found at a great price. I really hope that you all enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe right over here, and I will see you guys at the next one. Bye. Thank you.